Hey everybody, Rebels of Cloud9 here. I'm going to do a review today of the G-Tool Mr. Something Something, Mr. Cap Opener. There it is. Um, so yeah, this is made by Mr. Hobby. It's meant to open little paint pots like this. I heard it didn't work on Tamiya until just a little while ago. Someone actually said that it, this does work on Tamiya. It's you know meant for Mr. Hobby colors. And... Um, Mostly getting this, I've been curious to see if it works, and mostly getting it actually for my dad. He likes these paints a lot, but he doesn't like opening them. And even on occasion, I have a hard time getting these open, especially the clear. Um, sometimes what I like to do is just put Vaseline around the teeth, and that works. But, um, yeah, sometimes I forget about it, and be nice to have this on the occasion where that does not work. So, let's open it up here. We're just going to get rid of these staples and yeah, yeah, yeah. there we go so let's see here on the back it's got the two different type three different types sorry so we got mr. hobby different sizes there and then the middle is for these top. Those ones actually like these a lot. Heard that they don't make them anymore. Again, I don't get any of these here in Canada. Um, I've seen them on occasion like in Chinatown, but I've never bought any of them. That was a couple years ago. You can't get them here anymore. Um, like no hobby store I know of around here stocks them. And um, so yeah, I'm going to see how this works here. This little guy down here. I don't know what's wrong with him, but like he's so just. Oh, it's awesome. He's kind of stoned. He's kind of. He's kind of stoned. He's kind of like I don't know what I'm doing with my life. Why am I here? <laughs> oh man, this is stuck. There we go. It's actually way bigger than I thought it would be, and this is this is nice. This is like really, really thick. So this is quite perfect. So I thought this was gonna be kind of I thought this was gonna be cheap. Basically, I thought it was gonna be cheap plastic. Um, this is super rubbery. So let's uh, give this a whirl here. So this fits in like so. So, this is, so we have some grip, and let's see which ones fit. Nope. Aha, number one. Oh! Hey, that's really nice. Let's go like that. That's really, really nice. That was quite simple. And then this comes out quite easily. So now I could just, yeah, huh, okay, that worked out well. Try to find one, no, oh, that one's easy to open. Uh, where's a hard one to open? No, not that one, not that one. I'm just going to edit this out till I find one. No, not that one. Aha, that one. Dark Iron, you have met your match. Oh, crud. <laughs> that, was, that was so simple. Okay. I, I don't care what people say anymore. This thing's awesome. I've heard a lot of negative reports about this, like, reviews and things, and people are like, Oh, it doesn't work, it sucks, it's too complicated, why don't you just do this, just use pliers, and... I'm sorry, I'm sold, I'm convinced, this is nice. This is really, really nice. That was, that was really easy to open. Like, I just, I want to play with it now, and, and find all the paints that don't open. Ah, like this one. Let's try it again. <laughs> it's 
no match. It just opens up. It's so beautiful. I can't explain it. I can't express it enough. After all these years of, of you know, what I'd usually do is, is put this underneath and, like, push the cap up. It's like this thing just comes along and it's like, screw you. You will open. Oh, man, this is really cool. Complete win for me. I love it. It's great. Um, if you use a lot of Tamiya acrylics like this, um, grab one of these. They're not very expensive. I think I paid four fifty for mine. And, yeah, I'm getting one of these for my dad because uh, I thought I would give it to him. Uh, no, I'm going to use this one. I'm going to buy him his own because this thing is awesome. So, thanks everybody for watching. This is Rebel of the Cloud 9. Stay tuned for more inbox reviews, model kit builds. There's going to be plenty of those coming up very soon. And uh, don't forget to check the blog. Um, there's a link to that on the homepage, rebelsofcloud9.blogspot.ca. And, uh, yeah, subscribe and stay tuned. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Rebel of the Cloud 9. I'll see you guys later.